Many of us have searched for the perfect spouse, but the fictional character portrayed by Lacey Charbert in Christian Mingle is willing to play fast and loose with the truth in order to find him. That is until she realizes she has a deeper need. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Gwyneth Hayden is 30 years old, single, and works in a field that stretches the truth till it breaks, advertising. So when she's had all she can take of the preoccupied kind of date, who can't keep his mind on her for even 10 seconds, Gwyneth is opened to new options. That's where a TV commercial for the Christian Mingles dating website comes in. The people seem so genuine and happy that Gwyneth decides to lie about knowing Jesus just so she can meet a nice guy. And she does. Gwyneth even wears cross-shaped earrings in an effort to appear as a genuine Christian. Now here's where some humor comes in. Her new boyfriend, Paul, invites Gwyneth to a home Bible study. So where do people turn when they need to become an instant expert on anything? Gwyneth heads to the local bookstore and picks up a copy of The Bible for Dummies. Then she awkwardly shares a verse that has probably never been shared at that home group before. Yeah, I think the passage is from um, Galatians. Oh. Because of the temptation to sexual immorality, each man should have his own wife, and each woman should have her own husband. Abraham Lincoln once said, You can fool all the people some of the time, and some of the people all the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. If our 14th president had watched the Christian Mingle movie, he'd probably add, and forget about fooling anyone on the mission field. That's where Gwyneth's deception falls apart, you know, during one of those short-term mission trips. One thing I really admire about the film is that it very directly shows that believers dating non-believers is a mistake. I can think of one TV show where missionary dating, a believer dating a non-believer to win her to the Lord, is encouraged, but I'll let it remain nameless. In Christian Mingle, Paul calls off his relationship with Gwyneth when he learns the truth. I do like you, but whoever I'm with, I gotta feel totally comfortable sharing what's important to me. And having a relationship with Christ through the good and the bad, that is, that is more important to me than anything. And I, I, can't, I can't share that with you, not if it's not true for you. Regardless of Gwyneth's motives, a spiritual seed is planted. Free of the need to pretend, she actually starts to seek God for herself, regardless of what may or may not work out with Paul in the future. Gwyneth ends up feeling at home in a church much different in style from her ex-boyfriends. You know, when I see a personal experience with the Lord portrayed in the media, I wonder how much of it is acting and how much is real. For Lacey Chabert, it is real. Reallifestories.com quotes her as saying, Jesus is the center of my life, and I give God the glory for everything, for all my success. And what about Gwyneth's compromising job at the ad agency? She gives it up and goes to the mission field long term. You'll see a lot of familiar faces in Christian Mingle. Morgan Fairchild, Corbin Burnson, who also directed, John O'Hurley, and character actor Stephen Tabalowski. You can watch the film on Netflix, rent or buy it from Amazon, and find it other places as well. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. Thank you.